So in Photoshop, there's no just bullet point option because it's not really a word processor. We've got to find a workaround for it, and I think this is the best way. You can see that with this text box, I don't just have bullet points inserted visually. In fact, it flows with the text, and all of the spacing adjusts depending on how large my text box is. That's what I'm going to be teaching you how to do today. To do that, we're going to start a new document so that we kind of clear the slate a little bit. So I'm going to go to Command N or Control N for the new document. I'm going to just do a eight and a half by 11. We're going to create that and we'll zoom in a little bit so we can see this better. Now that I've got a new document open, I just need to create a text box. So grab the type tool, shortcut key is T. Click and drag to create a text box. This is called area type. So I'm going to paste in here a little bit of lorem ipsum text that I have. There's a return here everywhere that there should be a bullet point. So right here, 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 and here, we're going to have four bullet points. I need to actually manually add those in. So I'm gonna open up the glyphs panel, go up to type, down to panels, down to glyphs panel. And then we're gonna find that bullet point in our big old panel of glyphs. I've got it right here already highlighted. If I double click on them, it's gonna add them into my document. Now I think I want two spaces between the bullet and the first uh, set of text or the first line of text. So I'm gonna hit space, space, there we go. And I'm just gonna copy that same double space with the bullet. Command C or Control C, Command or Control V to paste that in where I want my next bullet, and same thing all the way down. So now we've got bullets in there. Another shortcut for the bullet point on a Mac is Option 8. On a PC, I believe it's Alt 0149, uh, but the Glyphs panel will be available to anyone, no matter who you are, and you can insert anything, even if you want your bullet to be not this normal circle bullet. What we need to do now is just indent our text and reverse indent our text. I'll explain that in a second to make sure everything lines up and then add a little bit of spacing after every return. So I'm going to highlight all of my text, bring a guide out just by grabbing the ruler and bring in a guide out. If you don't have rulers, command or control R will uh, show the rulers. What I like to do here is go ahead and add the same letter, whatever starts your first line here. I'm going to add that same letter down here on the second line. So a capital E. That way I can line these up better because knowing that they're the same letter, it's a little bit easier to know where they hit on this guide. So let's open up the paragraph window, drop down here, paragraph. Paragraph's gonna open up. This first one here is left indent. The second one is indent first line. So with this left indent, we wanna kinda bump that up. You can use the up arrow key or just type in numbers. And notice that's indenting all of the uh, the left side of the text. And we're just gonna bump that over until we get that lined up to about where the first E was when it was uh, aligned to the guide there. I like where that's at. And what we need to do now is just reverse that for the first line indent. So instead of 22 points, I'm gonna do negative 22 points. And you can see that that now lines up all the text, but also keeps the bullet point lined up on the left side, just like you would normally have a bullet point. So now that we've done this first set, I can go ahead and just highlight everything and I can type in those values. I know it's 22 and negative 22, and that's gonna adjust my entire uh, set of bullet points there, my whole list of bullet points. I want a little bit of space though after, you know, there's usually more space after the return to separate these bullet points from each other. So I'm gonna make sure I have everything highlighted again. And there's this little thing called space after. And that's gonna add space after paragraph. So every time you hit return, that's a new paragraph. And if we just bump that up with the up arrow key, you can add whatever spacing you want here. So I'm gonna add eight points to that. And then we're just gonna click on the move tool to kind of get rid of the highlight. I'm gonna drag this ruler back off the canvas and we did it. You can resize this. Text will flow, this bullet point list will flow. But if you resize the text in here by resizing the point, it's going to mess with, well, that was a little too much. So if we do 10, it's going to mess with where this text lines up. So how do you resize text now? Are you stuck? No, you're not. What you can do is just Command or Control T on that type layer. So once you get this fit to about where you would like it with the flow of the text, if you do Command or Control T, that's gonna bring up the transform. You can grab a corner and hold Shift and scale this text up and down. It's gonna scale all of those values together so that you can adjust how large this piece of text is on your document. So that's it, that's how you add bullet points in Photoshop. Just discovered this the other day. I know it's a little bit of a workaround, but 
I think this is the best workaround as far as getting it to actually flow and act like a bullet point list.